Good morning. Hello. Welcome to My Home Biz Tips, where we inspire, empower and support home based business owners so that they can find, create and scale the business of their dreams without losing their sanity or without sacrificing their sanity or their family. So if there's one thing I learned last year, it's that nothing is the way that you expected it to be that everything can suddenly change in an instant, your entire life be turned completely upside down. So it's a good idea to have plan Bs, backup plans and things like that. I've never really been a fan of a plan B approach because if you want something to work, you need to push, you need to put your energy into it. And I've always had this feeling that if you've got a plan B, it's a bit like saying, oh, well, I don't have to put all my energy and effort into doing this because there's always plan B. And I don't think that that necessarily works. Well, for some people it might, but for me, I need to kind of go all in. But last year showed me that you definite, that I feel as though I definitely need to have different places where different things are happening in my life so that if something disappears, I have other options, put it that way. And I know of lots of people whose lives changed in such a way, things disappeared, income streams disappeared, sometimes permanently, sometimes temporarily. And that is a horrible place to be, excuse me. <clears throat> I seem to have developed a little bit of cough. So please make sure that you're six feet away from me and wearing a mask. Um, so the thing is, in order to survive in this world, which has proven to us that it can change dramatically overnight, we need to have backup plans. We need to have different ways of dealing with it. Now, I was taught years ago that you should have five different streams of income. And that kind of made sense in a way. Although for many years I was an employee and I didn't think that five different types of income were relevant until I realized that that doesn't mean five jobs. So for example, one type of additional income that I had when I was an employee was um, I rented a spare bedroom in my home to someone else. I owned the property and I had a tenant living there in the spare room and I got rent from that. That's wonderful, amazing residual income. You have to do very little for it, so that's nice. I also bought shares in a couple of companies, which gave me not a regular residual income, but it did give me some residual income because once I bought the shares, when the company did well, I got paid dividends. I actually still have some of those shares, which is quite nice. I don't have the ability to earn uh, rental income anymore. But I do have some other things. And I know I've talked to some of you about these before <coughs> and I've written about them before. But at this time in history, particularly with so much uncertainty about where we're going and what's happening and how stable things are going to be on a global scale, I think it's worth repeating. And yesterday I got a little bit of a panic on because somebody I work with who's an intuitive said that she believes that this situation with the pandemic is going to continue for a couple of years yet. So things aren't going to go back to normal anytime soon. If they're ever actually going to go back to normal, I don't know whether life as we knew it is ever going to be the same again. So going back to this five different streams of income, I now have that. And I don't necessarily mean that it should apply to each individual person because I'm now married and the family has five different streams of income. So that I suppose if at some point we decided to be unmarried, we'd both be financially independent of each other as well, which is kind of a nice thing too. 
because I know that happens to people sometimes. And I know women who are relying on their husband paying them money for 10 years after they've divorced. And that is not, that can't be a good situation to be in when you're, you know, relying on someone else to help you. So that's another reason. Again, these changes that can blindside us and take our our standard of living away and put us in a dangerous position. So I have talked about some of this before and I don't have a lot of detail. If anyone wants detail, please reach out. I, I'll put the email address below. It's andrea at myhomebiz.tips. Also, the website myhomebiz.tips has a contact form on it you are welcome to reach out to me there if you forget the email address, but it's andrea at myhomebiz.tips. And before I go anywhere else, can I just say that I'm sure that watching this show, there are some business owners who are working from home who have been successful or are successful and who would potentially like to share what they've done to be successful with our audience. So please do go to the website or do email me and let me know if you would like to be interviewed on the show, because I'd love to talk to anybody who's been successful in helping other people be successful as well. It's our aim to share as much information as we can to help as many people as possible. So going back to opportunities. Now, people who are working from home have it easier. People who are employed by somebody have it easier because they have a regular income coming in, whether they're going to work or whether they're working from home, they have a consistent regular income coming in. So they're in a really good position to start a side hustle or a side business or a second business or a plan B business because they've got some income they can put aside and spend on that. They can hire a VA a virtual assistant who can help them do everything. Again, if you need help with that, come to us. We've got a team of people who can help you. So if you have a skill that you think other people might like to learn, if you can speak another language, or if you can draw or write or do music or anything that is a skill that someone else could learn, or that you can share in some way, that's something that you can sell. And there's a whole process of setting up a business and setting it up so that you can create courses, put them online, and that is residual income. You don't necessarily have to be a coach who has appointments with people every week training them, especially if you're at work and that would interfere with that. You can create something online. And again, I've written about this and we've talked about it before, but it's worth repeating because in this day and age where we don't know where things are going to be taken away from us, having something like that is essential. And then there are companies that you can join as an affiliate or a distributor or um, an agent or whatever it is. They have all sorts of different names where for a very small investment, you can build a business. And all that needs is some outflow of communication. Now, some of you know loads of people anyway. Some of you are connected to lots of people on social media. It's not that difficult. There are steps to take. And I've had this myself. I've had people reach out to me on social media and say, hey, thanks for connecting with me. I do this in my business and you should watch this link. That's not the right way of approaching it. There is a an art to communication. And that isn't it when it comes to selling something. And I will talk about that later on, possibly today. Um, so you have to be gentle. but it's not particularly time consuming. You can fit it in between other things. You can do it on a cell phone while you're traveling. You can do it, I mean, assuming you're not driving a car yourself. You can do it during your lunch break while you're having a coffee or first thing in the morning or last thing at night because it 
doesn't matter what time of day it's done because it's global and people will respond to you in their time zone. So it really doesn't matter. So growing a business of that type is much easier than we thought or than it used to be. So find products and services that people who are connected to you and your business will appreciate, right? Let me give you an example. So my business is about running a business from home. So the tools I use are things that help people market. And there are tools I've been using for a long time that other companies use to market their products and their services and to keep in good communication with people they are doing business with or they might like to do business with, right? Introductory um, things that sort of say, this is me and this is what I do. Or birthday cards, greeting cards, that kind of thing, to keep in good communication with people. So these products that I have are provided to me by MLM companies. So not only can I sell the products to potential customers, but I can also give those customers a business that they can run from home doing the same thing. And then because they're in my team and they belong to me, they get free coaching with me on a regular basis. Okay, so I have a greeting card company. And greeting card company doesn't sound like very much until you understand the power of a greeting card, a personalized card and the effect that it can have on a person. And your life in business is about creating a good effect on a person so that they allow you, trust you enough to help them solve whatever problem it is they're trying to solve, right? So in their life, they have some kind of issue that they're looking to solve. You are the person who can solve that problem. Now, you, the bridge you need to build is the communication between you, the service provider, and the customer who's looking for that service. So the better relationship you can create, the more customers you'll have, the more people you can help, and they'll be referring you quite happily to other people. So that's all that MLM means. It just means it's multi-level marketing. It means that you get paid for somebody referring somebody to somebody because you're looking after them. So in an environment like that, you would be able to get coached by me on a, on a regular basis and I can teach you in much more detail all the things that I'm teaching here on this show and that I write about as well. So there's the advantage of that. Now this particular company at the end of this month is launching different streams of income. They are providing new services that are all connected to building better relationships, including the relationship you have with yourself, with people who are closer to you, with customers, clients, prospects, people you're bringing in. I'm guessing there's going to be an element of personal development in there. I don't know. But it's going to be big and it's going to be six completely independent streams of income, one of which has existed for 17 years and the other five are new. And that all launches at the end of this month. And I don't know the details. They're keeping it very hush-hush. At the moment, they're building excitement and they're building interest. And I really feel as though I should talk to you about it and offer you the opportunity of potentially putting your name on a list so that when it launches, you get the information and then you can decide whether you want to go with it or not. But my purpose is to offer opportunities and teach people how to maximize those opportunities. So that's what I'm doing right now. So if you'd be interested in learning about a better way, a better way to 
build your business, a better way to build relationships with people who could be useful to you in your life for whatever reason, because relationships lead to friendships and to business opportunities and life opportunities and all sorts of things, then let me know. Just go to myhomebiz.tips, put a message in the contact form saying, I want information about a better way, and then I'll send you a link. So that's a business, an MLM structured business, which means that the more people you introduce to this idea, the more money you will make. That's how it works. And if people that you introduce then introduce someone else and you support them in that, you'll get paid for all that too. And there are six completely different unrelated businesses. So you could pick one that you liked and run with it, or you could promote all of them in all sorts of different ways and all sorts of different places. And I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that because that on its own solves the problem of having five different income streams and it's just one place. And I do know that it, there are things, <coughs> there are parts of it that pay weekly, there are parts of it that pay monthly, I think there are even parts of it that pay daily. So that's residual income at its best, but you do need to put some effort in, although you'll be supported the whole way. And if you have a job that's paying you, you can actually hire someone to do a lot of the work. So that's a better way. So let me know if you're interested in a better way. Something else that I've been working on recently, about seven or eight months, I think, is something called On Passive, which is a company which is creating a platform that has all the digital tools on it that a business owner would ever need. And it starts with registering a domain name, which you'll only need to do once, hosting websites, building websites, building landing pages. Now, just in case you don't know, a landing page is a page that has a spe special message on it about a particular thing that you're promoting. It could be a paid thing, it could be a free thing, but you put it out there and you, you encourage people to go there to get that bit of information. So it's just about that information, nothing else. You're not sending people to your website where there's all sorts of information and they could get distracted and lost and then not register. You have a landing page specifically for a certain product or event, something like that. Then there are emails. Some of you send out group emails. That means lots of e the same email goes to a lot of people at once. And you might use something like MailChimp or Constant Contact or um, Get Response or Aweber. There's dozens of different platforms that you can use. And as your audience grows, the cost of those things goes up and they can get quite expensive. And then it depends on sometimes how many people you've got that have unsubscribed and so on. And the costs can literally fluctuate. And then you can have suddenly a surge of people joining and suddenly your bill goes up. You don't always know how much you're going to pay. And that can get expensive. Then you might want to have your own email. So mine would be andrea at my home biz tips. You might want to host that on a secure platform. There are platforms like Gmail that you can host on. There are platforms like Outlook that you can host on. There are things like you can get lots of other free options for hosting. So you log into there and then you can have all your emails driving arriving in that one inbox, lots of different places. That You can get lots of different options, but they're not necessarily secure. In other words, your data isn't necessarily safe, nor is the kind of people that you're communicating with and even the kind of stuff you're talking about. If someone's providing a service to you for no cost, you can bet your bottom dollar that the product of the service is you and they're selling your information to somebody else. Otherwise, how would they be able to afford to run these platforms? 
the money paid by the paid or by the paying customers probably isn't enough to cover the expense of running all that. And I know for a fact that selling information that's gathered from customers is more lucrative to these companies. Now, on passive does not do it that way. Inside on passive, everything in there, including your activity, is your own. It's a secure place. Nobody's reading your emails. Nobody's saying, oh, that person just Googled depression. Let's give her information to the psychiatrist so that they can market depression pills to her. Doesn't work that way, right? It's secure. Then they're not making any extra money on selling your information. And your information isn't exclusive to the people you're communicating with. It's what you're communicating about, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then you might have something like Zoom so that you can talk to people. Now, Zoom has a cost if you're going to be over two people or over in a conversation for more than 40 minutes. Zoom is also, um, well, people are potentially watching what's happening on Zoom, I have heard not necessarily the kind of people that you would want to. And I've heard of conversations being shut down and Zoom suddenly switches off when people don't like what's being said. Now, I know that sounds stupid, sounds like conspiracy theory and everything, and it might not be true, but it's something that some of you might be interested in knowing, okay? Then there's also an upgrade to Zoom if you're running webinars, which makes it relatively expensive and you have a monthly commitment to do that. But it's a great platform and it's used in education. But what Zoom had to do was step up to creating something that would work on a bigger for a bigger group of people. And they did a really good job. This platform within on passive for education called O Academy, which is similar to O Connect, and they connect to each other, O Connect being the one that's like Zoom. That was built with the intention of it being able to manage large educational organizations, right? So it's built for universities and schools and coaches who have a little course that they want to put online somewhere that's got five videos that they watch, right? Like Kartra or um, Access Ally or even Udemy. Skillshare, Linda, there's loads of places that you can put your material online. Well, inside on Passive, they've got something as well. And again, it's secure. Now, the other advantage of on Passive is that they have an AI system. AI is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is what runs everything right now. It's how Amazon tells you, if you bought this book, you're probably going to be interested in buying this book because loads of people who bought this first book also bought this second book. That's all artificial intelligence, right? It's, it's everywhere. It's what says to you on Netflix, you really enjoyed watching this show. You'll probably enjoy watching this show as well. Now, they have artificial intelligence robots going out and looking what everybody is doing and what kind of things people are buying and what things people are looking for. And they collect people. They make suggestions to people. So, for example, if you were searching somewhere to register a website, not only would you see GoDaddy and Bluehost, you'd also see um, on passive because that's there in the search engines. So when you then go and register a website with on passive, you become a customer of on passive, right? So they have a very, very good system for finding potential customers and pushing them towards on passive. They've demonstrated this with videos. They've had remarkable success at getting a lot of traffic, a lot of views to videos that they've put randomly up on YouTube in order to see. And they will give customers to the people who support the business while it's in its growing stage. They're called founders. 
So you can sign up and become a founding member of On Passive today, which is a little bit like doing a Kickstarter campaign or participating in a Kickstarter campaign or buying shares in a company. You give them a small amount of money. <coughs> Excuse me, let me just have a sip of water here. You give them a small amount of money, you become an investor, a founder in the company. And the money that you put in is used to develop the software, right? So you're not getting paid for participating or anything like that. But you do have the opportunity to introduce other people if you wish, because signing up to become a founder member of Unpassive is by invitation only. So if you'd like to receive an invitation to participate, again, email me, andrea at myhomebiz.tips, or go to the contact form on the website, myhomebiz.tips. On Passive, will provide you with customers. So you will make income from those customers coming in, right? The company won't take them themselves. They'll be given to the founder members. You'll be able to register as many websites as you like. You'll be able to benefit from all the services they provide, which are considerably less expensive than what's out there on the market at the moment, right? So there's a really, really good chance that you're going to save a significant amount of money. You're also going to be able to make a significant amount of money, whether you promote this actively or not, which means that it's a really good opportunity for people who don't know people and need a little bit of extra money coming in. It's not going to be a massive amount. We're talking, you know, four or $5,000 rather than four or five figures or even six figures. So it's not a massive amount of money, but it is something in exchange for putting some faith in the company and giving them some money so they can get going. So nonprofits are signing up. I have someone, I know someone who gave a founder member position to a newborn as a christening gift. So once that newborn gets older, there will be money in that account to buy a car or pay for college or put a deposit down on a house, right? This is what is available at the moment as an opportunity. It's the best plan B I have ever heard of. So if you are interested in it, first of all, from the point of view of saving significant sums of money on services you're already using, there are 50 things in all that will be released, including um, HR packages, bookkeeping packages. There will be social media all coming down the line. It's all planned. And this is going into pre-launch relatively soon. So the opportunity to be a founding member is going to go away completely once the products launch. So if you want a, a plan B, that's a really good opportunity to take. So from the point of view of saving money, from the point of view of not having to do anything because it's like investing, that's another good one. And for people who don't have a network or don't want to do anything or can't do anything because they've only just been born, that works really well as well. So there are two things you can look at on passive or a better way if you want to be more active and actually build a business that will give you a little bit more security in these crazy, turbulent times, which could last some time. You know, I think that you probably, if you're looking at what's happening at the moment, have figured that it's gone on longer than it needed to have, and therefore it could considerably carry on for some time longer yet. So, looking at something now that will help protect your financial future is a really, really good idea. Now, very quickly, and you, you can get more detail on this from me if you want to. So 
if there's anything I ever talk about on the show or any of our guests ever talk about that you want more information about, please get back to me. My aim in life is to give you the information and support that you need to get your business to where you want it to be. So how to communicate with people in social media so that you can get them to the point of telling you what problem it is they're trying to solve so that you can then say, well, funnily enough, I happen to be really good at solving that kind of thing. Or would you like to know what I did to solve that problem? Right? Never, as I said before, connect with someone and say, hey, I'm Andrea. I run a business helping people start businesses. Do you need any help with your business? No. You say, hey, I'm Andrea. What do you do? Who are you? What's your business about? What's your life about? What's important to you? Build a connection with that person. Do it over private message or join groups, Facebook groups, where you might find people who are looking for whatever it is that you have. <coughs> Connect with them and build a relationship. And at some point, it'll come up in conversation. They'll say, oh, I am I really need to lose weight. That's what I'm dealing with right now. And you can say, oh, I had that problem a little while ago and I used whatever it was, product. And you can either be selling that product or you can know someone who's selling that product. Because not all of the connections and the people you help will be specifically financially rewarding to yourself. They might be for someone else, right? In which case that's going to come back to you the universe will not let you down. The universe will come back to you in some other way. So I help John. John gets his problem solved by Mary. Mary doesn't pay me. John doesn't pay me. But Simon and Samantha over there do because they heard about me through somebody else. The universe will provide. There's enough for everybody everywhere. And it's really important to get the mindset in your head of being kind and generous to everyone that you come into contact with. There's enough of everything in the world. I know people are telling us right now everything's about to run out, but it isn't. There's enough of everything in the world for us all to have more than we need. And we need to learn to be kind to each other to be respectful of each other and to be kind to each other. A better way is all about building relationships and being kind. So if you want to join the kindness revolution and be a kind person and be known for being kind and helping other people be kind, that's the one for you. If you're a techie or you're in a business or you're overwhelmed by technology and you need support and help, on passive is a good opportunity. And if you want to do everything so that all possibilities are covered, do everything. Reach out to me, Andrea, at myhomebiz.tips, because I can help you make sure that your financial future is safe. I know women who had businesses that they've had to abandon because they're now homeschooling their kids. We don't know how long that's going to continue. Women have had to stop going to work because they're homeschooling their kids. And in some places that hasn't changed. In some places, kids went back and then they didn't again. There are people in jobs that are working from home exclusively now or partly. This is a perfect time to make sure that your financial future is secure. So reach out to people in social media gently ask them to tell you about themselves before you introduce the idea that you've got a product. And again, I, I teach this in much more detail with my private clients and I can write more about it on the in my emails. We're building a blog at the moment so you can go and get information there or you will be able to get information there. But if you have any questions, reach out andrea at myhomebiz.tips. On the subject of questions, does anyone have any questions for me here today while I'm still live? Because I'm going to go in a few minutes. 
Is there such a thing as hands-off passive income? Yes, there is. And up until now, hands-off passive income has been only available if you had a large amount of money to invest in something. On passive has hands-off passive income. <laughs> it's in the name. So if you're interested in that, it's a $97 investment, which will probably over the period of a year earn you four, five, maybe $6,000, which is a lot more than you put in. And mostly if you're buying shares, the dividends that they pay you are considerably less. You'd have to put 6,000 in, in order to earn $97 in dividends, for example, which is what it's called when a company pays you a small amount of money in exchange for you having given them lots of money to get started. And that is hands off. That's the way it works. There are also trading platforms where you can learn to trade, um, which isn't hands-off passive income. But once you're trading, mm, that isn't hands-off passive income because you actually have to do the trading then. But once you've bought your shares in whichever company you're trading in, you can just sit back and watch them grow. You just have to be aware if they look as though they're not going to grow anymore. Now, I know someone who's in that business. So if trading is of interest to you, let me know and I will connect you. Apart from that, I don't think there is, unless you can find something on Kickstarter and invest in something in Kickstarter that then it turns into a massive hit because that's much less money. and. It means that whatever it is that they're offering, they might offer you some product, which isn't exactly earning money. But if you put in a little bit more, they might potentially offer you a percentage of the income of the sales of the product. That could happen. So there is such a thing. But beware of people on the Internet saying, oh, you can earn millions of dollars overnight by not doing anything at all, because that really doesn't exist. There has to be some kind of an exchange somewhere, which is why I'm so convinced that this on passive opportunity is a good one because it's a real one. So let me know if you want in more information. You know the website, myhomebiz.tips. It's up there in the corner. Andrea at myhomebiz.tips. Okay, that's all I'm going to handle today. My Cough is about to explode. Thank you so much for joining me here this morning. It's lovely to see you. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. And we have a guest next week who's going to talk to us about, remind me, what was it we were doing? Who's coming on next week? Oh, yes, a lady in France. I'm so thrilled that I'm going to be talking to somebody on the other side of the Atlantic next week. And we might even talk in French. I might just practice a little bit of my French that I haven't spoken for decades to her next week. So join us next week. And in the meantime, if you need anything, reach out. Thank you so much. Have a good week. Bye-bye.